Welcome to this EdReach Network screencast. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at Google Plus and specifically at how to use circles. So here I am already logged into Google Plus. As mentioned earlier, uh, you want to try to group people together using circles. Uh, circles is easily accessible up at the top of the screen. There's a little shortcut for it. So I will click that to go to my circles area. You'll notice down at the bottom there are some pre-created circles. I've already actually added some uh, acquaintances to some different circles. So I want to show how to do that. Up at the top, you can look at people that are already in your circles by clicking this first link. People have added you to circles by clicking this link. Or you can find and invite people by clicking this link. What this means is this will tie into your Google Mail contacts. And if you've emailed anyone or uh, if you have people in your contacts, this will show them and you can drag and drop them into circles if you want to. You can also import your address book from Yahoo or Hotmail's email services uh, and, and grab people and, and put them into circles that way as well. So let's take a look at what this looks like. One thing you might notice is as I am, if I scroll down a little bit here in the bottom part, and this I can drag up from the middle just to give myself a little bit more room. As I mouse over people that I already know, it, it highlights the circle that they're already in. So let's say I wanted to add this person to another circle. I'm going to add John to my Google Certified Teacher group by dragging and dropping him into that group. So now anytime I send a message out to just that circle or uh, if I just want to see information posted by people in that circle, that will help to organize that uh, so I can, I can easily do that. So that is circles. You can grab more than one individual at a time just to make it easy for yourself. If you're using a Mac, you can hold down the command key and you can click, click, click all while holding the command key. And let's say I wanted to add all of these people to a specific circle. I have now group selected them and can drag and drop all seven of those people into a circle, one circle at the same time. Another great feature with circles is when somebody adds you to a circle, it sends you an email confirmation. So I've already got one of those open here in my email, and it says that these two people added me to a circle recently. So from the email, you can click Add to Circles and then go and, and quickly drop them in a circle. Let's say for whatever reason I, I get added to a circle and I'm not too familiar with, with who these people are. If you click on their profile picture, it'll take you to their profile, and you can click through and read a little bit of information and then figure out, oh, that's right, I would like to add this person to my Google Certified Teacher group because in their profile they said they were a Google Certified Teacher. One easy way to do that after you get to the profile is up here in the top right, there's this Add to Circles button, and if you mouse over that, it shows, and I'm scrolling down right now, it shows all my different circles, so I can just check the box, and that easily added them to the circle as well. Maybe I want to add this person to more than one circle. You can easily click and add them to any circle or de-add them from any circle uh, that you might have accidentally clicked them into. So those are some great quick ways to add people to your circles, and we'll take a look at how circles work uh, when you post messages in another screencast. Thanks for watching.